Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing this Diatone 233 176 scale FGV RC card. All right, so I'm just gonna crack this open here. There's some plastic wrap. All right, so first I'll just show you guys the box. So this is the front. Here's the top. This is their 10th anniversary release. Here's the bottom. It just tells you what model you have. This is a blue model. The sides are blank. This side just has some spec information. So this is battery life and stuff right here. This is for without the FPV camera and this is with the FPV camera. And then here is the back. So it looks like this is a sleeve right here. So just push the box out like this. All right, so we have this tab right here and then we can open up the box. So we get this awesome Ditone card right here. Very cool. We also have this manual right here. So I'll just give you guys a little run through of what's in here. Here it is in English. And then this is what you get in the box. So they give you this little diatone code right here, and this is just a coupon code for your next drone purchase from them. So I won't be able to show you the inside of that, but that's a custom code. And then right here, we have the transmitter. So this is just a little toy grade transmitter. So we have our throttle, and then steering. And then this is the on switch, and there's no batteries included. So it's a pretty simple little transmitter, and then you have batteries that go down here, and it takes two double A's. So that's the transmitter, and then right here is the RC car. So as you can see, there's an FPV camera on there, and this piece of foam was protecting it. So here's a close-up look. There's a little antenna. So this is one of those all-in-one camera and VTX units that's just sitting on top of the car car does weigh a pretty good amount. There's a little charging port on the bottom right here. And then here's just some of the decals and stuff. It says Ditone in the back right there. So this is pretty cool. So that's the car. And then with all of their kits they also give you this custom white canopy so you can customize this however you want. And then you also get this little thing right here and this is just a little keychain. It says 08 right there, but I guess it's just a general Ditone RC car keychain, so that's pretty cool. And then in here, you just get this little USB charger, so this has the little plug on the end of here. They just assume that you already have a USB brick, so that's how that will work. And that is everything. And then the other one right here should be exactly the same. Mm. So this is the exact same thing, so it's really nice because you can actually drive with friends. So driving around with other people would definitely be really fun, especially in a big area, just kind of chasing each other around. So this is really cool. So yeah, like I said, I would highly recommend that you get two because you can you know, drive with other friends and it's a lot more fun that way. So that's what I have. Alright, so to power on the car, what you want to do is access the little on and off button in the bottom right here and click it and you'll see lights flash in the bottom and they're going to blink. And then you want to take your transmitter and power it on. 
And if this continues to flash, that means that th they aren't bound together. So you want to turn the car on by pressing the power button, and then you want to hold the button. And then you'll see that the car is flashing really fast, which means it's in bind mode. And then you want to put this in bind mode by holding the button and turning it on. And now you can see they're connected, so it's working now. And then we should have throttle response. So that's really cool. So I could drive this around the desk here. It's in the slow mode right now. So I, I can't really go fast. This is like the fastest I can go. So I just want to go over some specifications and features of this little car. So starting with features, if you want to turn on the car, you just press the button. And then if it's not binded, it'll just flash. If you want to put it into bind mode, you just hold it while it's on and it will start flashing really quickly. And then all you have to do is take your controller and hold this button while you turn it on and it will flash really quickly. And then once they're binded, you'll see it twitch and the light will just blink. And that means that you are connected. This is the camera FPV slash VTX module right here. This is a 25 milliwatt module with four channels. And of course it's on 5.8 gigahertz and it has a working voltage of 3.3 to 5 volts. Looking at the steering angle, you have about 30 degrees of steering. Proportional, like I said before. The throttle is also proportional. It will last anywhere from 17 to 20 minutes using the FPV camera. And the model without the FPV camera will last about an hour on a full charge. This version weighs 24 grams, and the non-FPV version weighs 19 grams, and you have about 50 meters of range with this little car. Of course, this is a 176 scale RC car. The controller operates on 2.4 gigahertz. The FPV version comes with a 140 milliamp hour battery, and the non-FPV version comes with a smaller 110 milliamp hour battery since it doesn't need as much power. Here are some size specifications of the different components on this car. And then here are the written product details from their page. And it comes in six colors. It comes in gray, blue, green, pink, yellow, and red. And that's basically all the specifications and features of this little Q33 RC car. So given that I just took this out of the box, I'm going to give it a little charge. And then we can take this out for an FPV driving experience. So while the car charges, it does have this slow pulsating red light. And it's just using this little JST port right here, as you can see, to charge it. And so when it's done charging, the lights should just turn off. So the lights are off now, which means it's done charging. So just some final stuff about this car. It does have a three-stage reduction, so a one to three gear ratio from the original motor. And that makes it go fast while conserving energy. It does have braking, so when you're going forward and then you go into reverse, it will brake. And then if you let go and then go into reverse again after that, it will start backing up. So when you turn the controller on, if you turn it on and it pairs with the car and the light is solid, that means it's in beginner mode. So the throttle is limited, so as you can see, that's full throttle. If you want to put it into advanced mode, what you do is turn this off and you hold this button down and then you turn it on and then you let go. And then if this light is flashing now, that means it's in advanced mode. And so now if you look at the throttle, it's even faster. So I'm going to be driving it in advanced mode so that we can go really fast. It does have a very tight turning radius, which is why it will flip over if you're going too fast, as you can see. All right, so like I said, we're in the advanced mode, and I'm just gonna drive around my house. Don't mind the boxes or anything. There's kind of a little bit of construction going on, but I'm just gonna drive around here. So this is really cool, because everything looks really big. Like, I can go underneath here. I can go underneath all these chairs and stuff, so it's really cool. I gotta watch out here, there's rugs over here. I just spun out. It's really hard to control when you get to the top speed, which is why they have the beginner mode, because the beginner mode is basically the maximum you could drive without spinning out of control. But I like the advanced mode, because you can basically control how fast you go. Oh, and I flipped over. Let me go correct myself. All right, let's go. So it is very fast. There's a rug right here, so I gotta be careful. I'm on like the complete other side of the house, which is really cool. Reception's really good. 
And the quality of this tiny camera is amazing for, I mean, how tiny it is. The sensor must be small, but works. it's working out really well. And it's just really cool because like you can go under chairs and stuff like this and everything looks really big. Even stuff like this little hole, go right under it. Look how fast this thing goes too. You have to consider how small it is. This kitchen is very long, so it's going very fast at full throttle. <laughs> oh my god. Something I noticed too, if I go full throttle and then reverse, it completely does a 180. So all I'm, I'm not even going to touch the steering right now. Watch this. I'm going to go forward full throttle and then brake. It goes a complete 180. Not even touching the turning. I'm just going straight and then brake. Straight, brake. So that's actually really cool. It makes it really easy to turn if you want to. Even stuff like this, this is really cool. I can go under here. Some pretty cool exploring with this little guy. It makes everything an adventure because everything just seems so massive. Go under the couch. I have some really bad breakup right now because I'm across the entire house. All right, let's do some more exploring here. So the cool thing about this car is the camera will run up to, it will run on 3.3 volts, but not any lower. But of course the car will run a little bit longer. So even if your feed goes out, you're not killing the battery and you could try to drive it back. So yeah, the proportional steering, as you can see, works amazingly. You can even see it in the video feed. Look how precise that is. And it just makes it so easy to steer when you're focused. You can go basically wherever you want, whenever. I also like that you can see the 33 on the little car canopy. It's really cool. It's really cool being able to see the hood of the car with the wheels. So yeah, this thing is very fast. It's not even on full battery because I did drive it around a little bit before I started recording just to get some practice. But as you can see, even when it's not on full battery, it's very fast. Over here, go under. Oh, I'm something just happened. Something weird is happening. My video feed is cutting out. Why can I not see? So the exact thing that I was talking about happened. The video feed cut out, but as you can see, the throttle still works and the steering still works. So it actually just died, <laughs> but that's kind of what I was talking about before. So um, this car is really fun. Great product by Dietone. Proportional steering worked amazingly and it's overall just really fun to drive around, you know, furniture and objects and obstacles. So I'll have a link to this in the description if you want to purchase it yourself. Like I said, very, very fun. Definitely worth it, especially if you have friends to drive with. I'm probably going to make another driving footage video in the future, so stay tuned for that. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.